tonight. At the moment, one of three buildings collapsed in the midst of a massive fire in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. All three buildings with homes and businesses now gone. Sky Eye is giving us a clearer look at what is left today, including the impressive work by firefighters to keep those flames from spreading even farther. WBZ's David Robichaux has been talking with the people hit hard by this disaster. He is live tonight in Portsmouth in front of one of those wrecked buildings now. Roby? More than 100 firefighters from three states were involved in battling this blaze. This building was 167 years old. All the residents of the 14 apartments that were on the second and third floors made it out safely, but the iconic restaurant on the first floor is gone. Unfathomable. That's how one local merchant described the scene unfolding in front of her. An iconic local restaurant and an apartment building going up in flames. Firefighters rescued one man with a ladder truck. Other residents fled from the midnight blaze on their own. Once I opened the door, there was uh, quite, a few, uh, quite a bit of smoke. Um, I saw some of the um, elderly um, uh, tenants from above us coming down. So uh, we, I grabbed my roommate and then we came out. Just in time to witness this. Oh my God. <laughs> this was emotional for a lot of local residents and businesses in Portsmouth. Under all that rubble is the well known gathering spot, the State Street Saloon. It has been here forever. It was a home to a lot of people. It was where they went uh, after work, it was where they went on the weekends, it was where people would gather. The owner of the saloon, Eli Sorcarellis, looked at the smoky ruins escorted by the state fire marshal. He was thinking about all his loyal employees who are now without work and the impact his restaurant has had on so many. I guess, you know, I didn't realize how important it was to a lot of people. I mean, it was important to me and my employees, but how important it was to the community itself, you know. How's your heart doing this morning looking well, at Well, heavy, heavy, but I'm okay. Sure, his heart is heavier now as you look out live at this building being torn down. It was constructed in 1850. The State Street Saloon went into business about 35 years ago. The fire chief said this could have consumed the whole block, and he praised the efforts of all the fire departments involved from the various towns from three states as far away as York, Maine, the official cause still under investigation. Live in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, I'm David Robichaud, WBZ News. Roby.